We are going on of Mathematics Paper 1 of November 2021. Let's move on to question 8. 8.1 A farmer bought a tractor for 980,000 Rand. The value of the tractor depreciates annually at the rate of 9.3% per annum on the reducing balance method. Calculate the book value of the tractor after 7 years. So in the reducing balance method, we have A is equal to P times 1 minus I to the power of N. The P value is 980,000 Rand. The I value is 0 0.092 and N is 7 years. Remember for I, we take 9.2% and that is 9.2 over 100. And if we simplify that, that is 0 0.092. And if I put in these values into a calculator, I find that the depreciated value is 498,685 Rand and 82 cents. 8.2. How many years would it take for an amount of 75,000 Rand to grow or accrue to 116,253 Rand and 50 cents in an account earning 6.8% per annum compounded quarterly. So the compound interest equation is A equals to 1 plus I to the power of N. And we know that this amount grew to 116,253 Rand and 50 cents and 75,000 Rand was originally invested. Now we need to be careful when it comes down to the compound interest because it's 6.8% per annum, but it's compounded quarterly. So that's why we divide it by 4. Also, N represents a year, but this investment is compounded 4 times in a year. And now we can use this to solve the value of N. First, I'll simplify by dividing both sides by 75,000. And notice that when I divide, I keep as many decimal places as possible. This will allow for more accuracy in my calculations. And I only round off my calculations right at the end. Next, I'll simplify this bracket. 1.017 to the power of 4n. Now I can use log laws to find 4n. So that will be a log with a base of 1.017 and the value inside the log is the decimal which I found before. And I enter this expression on my calculator to find the value of 4n, which is equal to 25.99 and so forth. And I divide that value by 4. So this investment will grow from 75,000 Rand to our accumulated value in 6.5 years. 8.3 Table wanted to save 450,000 Rand as a deposit to buy a house on the 30th of June 2018, 8.3.1. He deposited a fixed amount of money at the end of every month into an account earning 8.35% per annum compounded monthly. His first deposit was on the 31st of July 2013 and his 60th deposit on the 30th of June 2018. Calculate the amount deposited. So you need to figure out whether it's the F or P equation on the formula sheet. Now because this money is growing into the future, starting at the previous date, it is the F equation or the future value annuity. Remember it as F for future. So I can find the future value annuity formula on the formula sheet. And our question is to find the monthly amount deposited. So we know that this amount grew to 450,000 Rand. So that is my F value. We don't know the value of X. The I value is 0 0.083 divided by 12 because it is compounded monthly. Now we need to be careful with N because the information says his 60th deposit was on the 30th of June, 2018. So he made 60 deposits, not 60 times 5 for 5 years. So n is simply 60. And then I continue substituting 
i into my formula. And now in order to find x, I'll take 450,000 rand and I'll multiply it by the denominator of my formula and divide that by the expression next to x in the numerator. That means that he deposited 6,068 rand 69 cents per month into this account in order to grow to 450,000 rand. 8.3.2 Tabu bought a house costing 1.5 million rand and used his savings as a deposit. He obtained a home loan for the balance of the purchase. Now let's quickly pause there. The value then of the loan would be 1.5 million rand minus the 450,000 rand as a deposit. So the full loan is 1,050,000 rand. That is the balance of the price. And the interest charge is 12% per annum compounded monthly over 25 years. He made his first monthly installment of 11,000 rand towards the loan on the 31st of July. Now A, what will the balance outstanding be of the loan 21 years later after the loan was granted? So to find the outstanding balance, you want to know by how much has the loan grown because we are charged compound interest and then we subtract the impact of the payments on that grown amount. So the original loan amount was 1,050,000 Rand and we were charged 12% interest at compound interest and we paid this 12 times a year for 21 years. But we also made payments of 11,000 Rand per month using that same information for the loan. And these payments were also 12 times per year for 21 years. So basically what I'm doing is I have a loan of a million and 50,000 Rand and I'm taking forward by how much interest I was charged. This is the first section of my sum, but also what I'm doing is I'm seeing how much I have paid on this loan over 21 years. So that's the second part of the equation because I'm going forward to see the impact that I've made going forward from the start. And the difference between by how much the loan has grown by and the impact of my future payments at this point is my outstanding balance. So if I put this into my calculator carefully, I see that my outstanding balance is 419,952 Rand and 39 cents. And the last question, calculate the interest Tabu would have paid over the first 21 years on the loan. So let's start to find the total amount he has paid. So we take his monthly payments, multiply that by 21 years and for 12 months in every year, and we see that he has paid 2.7 million rand over 21 years on this loan. So now let's find the loan amount after 21 years. We know that the original loan was 1,050,000 rand. And in a previous question, we found the balance outstanding. So over 21 years, he has paid 630,000 rand on this original loan because after 21 years he still had 419,000 Rand outstanding on this loan and that difference is how much he has paid up until now and the difference between these two values is the amount of interest that Tabo has paid over 21 years so over 21 years he has paid 2.1 million Rand of interest